Let's examine the two different phase diagrams for water and for carbon dioxide. First, notice that the y-axis in both cases is pressure, given in ATMs. Second, the x-axis is temperature. Now, two main differences exist between the two phase diagrams. First, at one atmospheric pressure, water exists in all three phases. However, for the carbon dioxide phase diagram, we see that carbon dioxide exists only in the solid phase and in the gas phase. Let's look at the water diagram first. So at low temperatures, from here to here, we can find water in the solid state. At medium temperatures, from here to here, we can find water in the liquid state. And finally, at higher temperatures, above this temperature, we can find water in the gas state. For carbon dioxide, however, at 1 atm, at low temperatures, below this temperature, we find it in the solid phase. And then we see that above this temperature, our solid sublimes directly to the gas state. And so we could only find carbon dioxide in the solid and gas state at 1 atm. The only way we could get into the liquid state is if we increase pressure and then increase temperature. The second main difference, and perhaps the more important difference, is the following. For the phase diagram of water, the boundary between the solid and the liquid line, this line, has a negative slope. While for the carbon dioxide phase diagram, the boundary between the solid and liquid is positive. It has a positive slope. So it's increasing here, and it's decreasing here. So, and this happens because water has special properties. As a solid, the molecules in the solid state are very far apart, or further apart, than they are in the liquid water state. And that means liquid, the molecules are closer, so for some given volume, water liquid, or liquid water, is more dense than solid water. And that's why ice stays afloat, because ice is less dense than uh, water. So, for this guy, however, the solid is more dense than the liquid, and therefore this slope is positive, so if you place a solid carbon dioxide into the liquid, it's going to sink straight down. Now, one more effect uh, because of this negative slope is the following. Because the slope is negative, if we keep our temperature constant, say, somewhere right here, so if we keep this temperature constant, we see that we can actually uh, sub, uh, make the solid become a liquid by simply increasing our pressure. So at constant temperature, we can make a solid become a liquid by simply compressing it, increasing the pressure. But for this situation, we can't. The only way we get a solid to become a liquid is if we increase temperature. Now, for the most part, most substances follow this phase diagram. Now, some substances, such as water, follow this phase diagram. This is less common.